A monster movie is terrifying because of the monster. Plain and simple. The Thing, Alien, Hellraiser, they are all genuinely terrifying and are a threat to all human life. They make us fear our neighbour or the cryptic box we find in our new home. However, the same can't be said about these five creatures. So today on Top 5 Scary Videos, we're going to be counting down the top 5 scary movie monsters you could easily defeat. Let's jump in. In at 5, Killer Tomatoes, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes is perhaps one of the campiest films on our list and it's just downright absurd. And if you're unfamiliar with the movie, the villains in the film are none other than, you guessed it, Killer Tomatoes. So spooky. After reports surface of people being eaten by fruit, a government task force is dispatched to investigate and attempt to save the world from these killer tomatoes. Now obviously this film is mostly a comedy and a horror second, however as we stated before it's unbelievably campy and depicts one of the least threatening horror movie monsters in history. Quite honestly if these tomatoes ever invaded, all you would have to do is step on them. More bizarre still, in the movie the mutated tomatoes are disarmed when the song Puberty Love is blasted at extreme volumes. Yeah. Honestly, it would be a piece of cake to take down these bad boys, so don't fret. In at 4, Leprechaun from Leprechaun. It's shocking to believe that Happy Go Lucky followed the rainbow to the pot of gold Leprechaun could in any way be evil. I mean, I've never trusted the Irish, but that's just me. I don't trust their jig. However, if you've ever seen the movie Leprechaun, you'll know just how deadly they can be. Based on the creature from folklore, these little fellas are downright evil and sadistic. However, they aren't really that terrifying. After his pot of gold is stolen, this Leprechaun travels to the states from Ireland before getting tricked into getting locked in a chest. Dumb. Ten years later, this little guy is accidentally released, and his only goal is to find his gold. Same, honestly. Now, he may be sadistic, but he's more annoying than anything. He never shuts the f up, and like many of the other monsters on our list, he's small, which means just punt him across a football field or just whack him with a bat and he's done with. It's really that simple. It's not difficult. In at three, Invaders from Signs. Ah, uh, Alien Invaders, my favourite. Now, in popular opinion, I loved Signs, and better yet, I loved the twist. However, the aliens in Signs weren't the smartest bunch of extraterrestrials we have ever encountered, particularly because they clearly failed to do any research before attempting to conquer our land. To begin, they can be killed when they come into contact with water. Did they not see upon arrival that water literally covers 75% of our planet? Well, if they did, it didn't deter them because they landed like the cocky bastards they are. Also, it would have been wise to don at least one article of clothing. I mean, you are visiting another planet after all. It's just straight up rude. Perhaps the aliens didn't know of their weaknesses to water, or better yet, have never even heard of water. But seriously, you would think they would have had a better game plan when invading a new planet. Just saying. In at 2, Gremlins from Gremlins. If you ever had one of those cute furry little creatures, there are important rules you will remember. You can't put them in bright light, you can't get them wet, and never ever feed them after midnight. If you forget the latter, little green monsters may just start appearing around your home to terrorise you and your town. When these bad boys pop up in Steven Spielberg's Gremlins, they are terrifying. Yes, but they suffer from the same problem as our previous number does, stupidity. Yes, they spawn rapidly, however their weakness is water, and as stated previously, our planet is literally made up of 75% water. Not only that, but any bright light is enough to kill a gremlin. All you need is a flashlight and a hose and those suckers are going down. Honestly, it's not that difficult, people. Finally, in at number one, Chucky from Child's Play. Chucky is the perfect example of when turning something from our childhood into a bloody killer can work work so effectively. This child's play toy and villain is truly frightening to set your eyes on, yes. But is he actually difficult to take down? That's the question. The doll for the most part is always wielding his trusty knife, but you can't help but wonder why no one just doesn't run over to him and punt him across the room. Yes, he's inhabited by the soul of a dangerous criminal, but at the end of the day, he's a doll. He's just a doll. Over the course of the movie, his body becomes more human as time passes, which tells us that Chucky bleeds just like the rest of us. Get a bat, get a golf club, take a car, and give that little fella a whack. Is it really that difficult? Well, there we have it. Do you guys agree with our list? Were there any movie monsters that we missed? Leave us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below, and perhaps we can do a part two. If you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another scary vid. Until next time, see you later.